A major step for Duke Energy looking for a greener future, and it could end up affecting your electric bill. WIFF News Force Peyton Furtado spent the day speaking with experts and learning more about what this 15 year plan will mean for the Carolinas. Peyton. Yeah, Nigel, the Carolinas are changing and so are the way we keep the lights on. Duke Energy says electricity use is expected to surge as more people move here. Our folks who have been doing this type of planning for 30 years have never seen anything quite like this. Ryan Mosier says their new 15 year plan has to keep that growth in mind and follow new state laws like North Carolina's law requiring the state's utilities commission to take quote reasonable steps to lower carbon emissions by 70% of 2005's emission levels. But we've got to find new resources to plan for economic development growth, the growth that we know is coming. The plan focusing on renewable energy as well as nuclear and hydropower plants like the Bad Creek hydro pump station in Oconee County. Duke Energy plans to expand that plant, providing more jobs. This facility has been providing carbon-free, emission-free generation uh, to customers here in the Carolinas since 1991. Mosier says Duke Energy plans to be coal-free by 2035 and carbon-neutral by 2050. But Duke Energy's number one goal is to prepare their electric grid for coming growth. We have to keep the lights on 24-7. So everything we do keeps that on the radar and in focus. Mosier says this would mean a $35 a month increase for the average customers, the lowest increase possible while still meeting all these goals. Yeah, and that plan is going to have to be approved separately in both North and South Carolina. Mosier says the earliest that could happen here in South Carolina would be spring of 2024. We're going to have more information on WYFF4.com, but for now, live in Greenville, I'm Peyton Furtano, WYFF News 4.